Welcome to another edition of 180 Seconds or Less. I'm Joe Tumalo. Let's pretend your boss came to you tomorrow and said that you have to start working less hours. You're working 45 hours a week now. I need you to cut that down to 30 hours a week. And the good news is I'll pay you the same amount of money. However, you do need to get the same amount of results in less time. Could you do it? I promise you, you could figure it out. In developing my practice of fundraising, coaching, training, and consulting, it's forced me to be very, very aware and intentional around how I'm spending my time. The three things that I, the three assets I have are my relationships, my time, and the value I bring to my clients and to my audiences. So the time component really is something that I've really spent a lot of time on testing. And I've come to the conclusion that we really do have more time than we need. And we really often squander away certain amount of hours per week. As fundraisers, the best use of our time, of course, is spending time with donors. I call it donor time and being very conscious of how much time you're spending with donors. So here are three things that you can do to spend more time with donors and not feel like you're stressed out that you don't have enough time to do that work. Number one is start by measuring how much time are you spending with donors every day, every week. Very simple exercise. Take a legal pad on the left hand side, starting at the top, whatever time you start your day, let's say it's eight o'clock. So start with eight o'clock, 8.30, nine o'clock, 9.30, 30 minute increments down the left hand column. And then every day, put it at your desk or in your car if you're out on visits and just keep track of what you do and then at the end of the week look at how much time did you actually spend with a donor in the sales world we used to say that the average salesperson spent about 25 percent of their time with a prospect or a client the other time they spent doing just busy stuff so once you really take a look at wow let's say a week went by and I only spent three hours with a donor or with donors then the next thing is to start setting goals okay I want to double that so for the next 30 days, my goal is to spend six hours a week or whatever the number is for you and be very conscious. The third thing that you want to do is measure that is to track your time. There's a lot of time tracking software online, a lot of free ones, free apps. I use Toggle. It's a free timer. And every time I sit down to work, do work for a client, I start to timer and then when I'm done that work for that client, I stop it. And then at the end of the week, at the end of the month, I look at how much time did I actually spend doing billable hours. It's pretty revealing, but I promise you, if you be very intentional about how you're spending your time, set goals to spend more time with donors and measure that. And then every month, see if you can spend a little more time. The other thing, of course, the big thing that you need to do is start saying no say yes to a few things and no to a lot of things. For more ideas, free stuff, if I can be helpful to you and your work and your gift officers, please check me out at joetumalo.com or you can email me joe at joetumalo.com. All the best.